Hey guys, today we're uh, changing out the brakes, brake pads and the rotors on a Toyota Avalon. It's pretty uh, easy job, nothing too uh, complicated. Um, this is the rear driver side um, wheel uh, that we're working on. Uh, safety first and uh, just some basic tools to work with uh, here. So first what we do is uh, start breaking the lug nuts before you jack the car. So you could use an adapter and a breaker bar. And you kind of want to just go ahead and do the opposite ends. Uh, once you break them open, it's getting there. After that also, you also want to make sure that you put a, some sort of a, a brick or something in front of the front wheel so that way the, the car doesn't roll. You want to have that safety mechanism there so you know here in this case I'm gonna put uh, a brick and a, and a piece of wood over there so that the car doesn't uh, roll so once you got the lug nuts uh, broken the next step is to jack the car up and jack the car you want to position the jack in a place where you're getting it right on the frame so as you can see that we've got the jack right there. So you see the, the little mark right there. That's the car's frame and you want to start jacking the car there so you have a nice balanced lift on the car. So now that we've got the wheels off the ground, the next safety measure is jack stands. So for the jack stands, what we gotta make sure that you're placing it in a strategic place where you're catching the frame. So, you know, you see this tab right here that runs along the body. That's the part of the frame. So you want to make sure that you grab that, you know, you place that right underneath and then we'll put it on the other side. Once we have it on the other side, the same location, then we can bring the jack down a little bit so now the car will rest on the, the jack stands so now yep yeah, so it's good over here straight up a little i think so huh straight up a little pull it towards the road a little all right let me just Move from there. So now the car will, you know, as you bring the jack down, Watch out. the car will rest on the jack stands. And there you go. So the full load is not taken by the jack. You have better support. We'll leave the jack and leave the yeah, there. and we'll leave the jack there as well. So now we've got the jack right there, and we got the two jack stands over there. So the next, so now we start removing the lug nuts. This does go faster if you have an impact gun, obviously, but we're not investing so much money yet into the tools, you know, just basic tools. They work wonders, just takes a little bit of extra time. But nice and easy. One. And come back and continue off. So now that we've taken the lug nuts off, Next, we could just easily uh, take the wheel off. And uh, once we take the wheel off, you know, we'll put that under the car. It's just for additional safety. So the wheel should come right off. There we go. Just place that to that way. So now we have full exposure to the rotor, caliper, 
some brake pads here. Uh, we're gonna change it out. It's pretty, it's in pretty bad shape. So we're just, you know, we're just gonna change that out. So a couple things that we have to do to get to the rotor and the caliper is first we gotta remove the caliper and that you do by removing number one bolt here, number two over here. So we gotta take that, that's a nipple. You gotta be careful that you don't damage that. That's your brake line and your uh, stabilizer link right there. So you wanna check that everything is in good condition here, nice and stiff. Um, but so we're gonna start first by removing these two bolts here for removing the caliper. So this will be a size, uh, it's a 14 millimeter. Uh, and what we want to do is to get, a, get enough leverage. I'm sure it's going to be a little bit tough to open. Um, so get the 14, put the wrench there. And try to hit it. Uh, if it's giving you too much of a problem, uh, you can use a breaker bar. It'll give you a little bit more leverage. In this case, we're just going to use a pipe hole on. So here in this case, if you got a little, you know, it's, uh, it's in there pretty tight. So we're going to I just put a black pipe over it and then break that open. Uh, there you go. And then we're gonna also loosen the bottom one. That's on there. Same thing, just add the pipe on there and then break that bad boy open. And that's it. Nice and easy. And you can see the it's coming out. And one of the there's a couple of things you want to make sure the the top and the bottom bolts they're a little bit different. So the bottom one, bottom one. It's a little bit shorter compared to the top, and you can see that the grease in here is completely dried out. It's, it's done. So we have to clean this, clean it, and regrease it. This is the bottom one? Yep. That's the bottom one. Yeah. And then we got the top one. So as you can see, the top one looks a little bit different. And this also, the grease is dried up. So you could tell. Um, general, so you don't have to worry about it. The top one here looks different than the bottom one here. So you just want to make sure you don't mix them up. But you don't have to worry about it in this case. So now that we've got those two bolts off, you can now pull off pull the caliper and you want to kind of organize all your bolts so that way nothing gets damaged so next we want to take the caliper off now slowly wiggle it and as you can see you got this piece is also very dirty so this rubber sleeve you know how to clean that put that together both of them safety first you don't want to leave the since the caliper has since the caliper has the brake line attached you don't want to let that just dangle and you know get a bigger problem than than what it is so you just take a rope you could do a take a hanger and just attach it to the strut here in the coil and so that way it doesn't fall and the line doesn't get damaged. That's it. That's it. That's good. So next, what we got to do is there are two more bolts that we need to remove in order for us to get access 
to the pads and remove this component. That would be so we have a bolt here and a bolt here. Right there. Let's see if you get a better view here. Oh, the bolt. So right here. So we got a bolt here on the bottom and a bolt up top right there. So we gotta remove those two. That's the same way that's going to be really since it's been a long time, we're gonna do the same thing and uh, use a pipe to break that open. Yeah. So here, we're just going to what? Let's break that open so you can have a little bit bigger ratchet here. So we're gonna put that on and then, all right, there you go. That's the bottom one. No. And then we have to break open the top one. So now we got the bottom one out. Now we break the top. And just apply the pipe. Or just hit it a little bit. And it'll come right out. A little more leverage on this side to work on. to be right there. The brake pads are not that bad of a shape, but we're just gonna change them out since we're changing the rotor. Uh, since we have the whole piece out, we're just gonna to kind of clean that up a little bit kind as well. Kind of stuck in here, we gotta clean it's this. Also stuck. Uh, it's, it's probably been a while since it's been touched. And this car does not get driven. It's a car for, so. That is the brake pads are stuck in there pretty well. So we're gonna have to apply a little bit of pressure and get that out. So now that we got the housing off, we can pull the rotor out. So the sounds will just wiggle it off. There you go. And the rotor too is in pretty it's pretty rusted. So we're just gonna kind of clean up that area as well. Get a brush and just clean it out and kind of rust dirt. Since when the new brakes go in, what's going to happen is that we're going to have to push this guy in so that way the caliper can uh, slide right onto the new brakes. The new, pa new pads will be a little bit thicker, but we have a tool to push that in. So coming back here to the pads. Just 
stuff in there for a while. Okay, I gotta have my it's supposed to come out easy, but yeah, yeah. So when we were getting the car inspection done for this, um, the mechanic said, well, you need to change the brake pads. Obviously you could see the pads are still, you know, the thickness is still there. They're not, they're barely used. So, you know, a good mechanic, a good honest mechanic goes a long way. Uh, but if you, in comparison, uh, you'll see the, the difference in the new pads and the old pads because a lot of mechanics sometimes they want you to do work on the car because it's money. That's why you start using the, you know, do the work yourself. You get a better idea as to so if you compare brake pads, there's still you know, probably over half of it left. Yeah, more than 50% yeah. left. So these pads are still good, but. Change it anyway. We're gonna change it anyway since we're changing the rotor. So you got a little bit of quite a bit of cleaning to do. We're gonna clean the house. You gotta do at least the bolts and the sleeves are also pretty dirty. Just make sure you use a container to spray it, spray it down. Spray it down and uh, clean it. We're gonna use a. Uh, here in this case, this is a, a TPC solvent. Um, it's a degreaser. Just gonna spray it down. You know. Clean all that stuff up. Take your time, slowly and steady. Well, now that we've cleaned up these parts, we're gonna grease them. We're using the. Uh, you wanna make sure that you lubricate these uh, parts really well because when you hit the brakes, you know these, you get that little pumping action. So you wanna make sure that you know, they're greased properly. The housing and all. Work your way slowly into the housing. I just need that pocket of air.
actually grease it up properly. Slides just slides, slides easy. Them. Grease that up. We'll attach the housing back. So now from now here, it's just a reverse process. Um, you know, first we put the new uh, rotor on. So let's get the new, let's get the new rotor. Housing on there, housing and the caliper brake pads. Got him now. You can tell. Oh. Yeah. That is a big difference. You want to align the, the extra hole. Oh, uh, the hole is there. No, that's right. Actually, you're right. Start locking that in. Let me get the screws. So you want to make sure that you align. Just do an extra quarter turn. Now that we uh, hand tightened, we're just gonna have a little bit of a up, turn up, up, turn, hand tighten, and just a little quarter inch turn. Just and then do the same thing to the top one. Get some get a better angle. Tighten that up a little bit. Yep. Now that that's in, the next step is slide the pads in there. Tight. Next, we put the pads. If we're gonna do that for pads, two hundred something. I gotta grease it okay. Uh, gonna, what we're gonna do is before we put the pads, this is the part where the caliper will go on. So we're gonna grease that up. And we're gonna grease the tip too. and the tip as well. So that way, it's when we took it out, you noticed that this whole part was rusted. It was pretty jammed inside. So we're gonna grease up the component the joint and uh, the rear of the pad where the caliper 
we'll hold it in place. And do that to both. Should be snug. Right there, nice. And then we're gonna increase the second one as well. Same way, tip both tips and the back of it. go now as I mentioned before with the caliper because this component is out a little bit and it's a new brake pad the distance between here and there is it's a little bit tight so we're gonna have to push this guy in uh, so we're gonna have to need to pop the hook open now uh, yeah I got the keys uh, there's that tool we're gonna first open the cap for the brake reservoir. So we're gonna just open that up. It pulls out. That doesn't screw. Yeah. Just leave it halfway on top of it just in case I don't want anything. And then we're gonna use the tool to push So this is what the tool looks like. It's pretty simple tool. So we're just gonna apply pressure. We're gonna put that, there's a pad that goes up here. And we're just gonna push that. Work all the way now. This the big side goes on this side, okay? Yeah, this, so this, this, you this, can see this. that after we cleaned it up, the boots are also you know they're nice and clean on the inside. We took all the grease out, so now we're gonna get the caliper on just under the cable. Here, see, make sure this fits in. Right. Huh? Yeah, so now we got a fit in there, so now we're gonna put the rubber boot. Get a little grease for this. Huh? Put a little grease over here. Okay. Get it. Just a very little. the back of the pad a little bit before we put the caliper on. Yeah. Same thing for the front. So it doesn't screech. The, slide the caliper on. Your boot's good? Ah, oh, boot's good. It's not coming. It's not on top. There you go. Oh, Let's put the right that side. Uh, just align, align this here. No, no, it's off. The boot's off. Okay. Just want to make sure that all of that stuff is aligned. And then we take our yep, that's up over there. Alright. So this is the top right. bolt that came off, so we gotta grease this guy up. Just look at that boot right. Yeah. So we're gonna grease this guy up before we put that in. And then we're gonna grease the bottom one. Oh, 
once we grease that up and you put that in next stop is put the wheel back on tighten up the lug nuts and you're done you gotta you make got sure everything back in, on you gotta make sure they're on it too yeah so now that everything's back on we're just gonna take the wheel put that back on Get the logs. Uh, yep. And we're gonna Back on. So you wanna hand tight these? It's on the roof, rooftop of my car. On your car? Yeah, it's in the case. Hold on, let's tighten up this first with the um, thing, and then when we drop it, we can do that. Okay. We wouldn't be able to. Um... So now I just want to lock them up. Tighten them up. So now that the wheel's back on, we tightened it up. We're going to raise the car just a little bit so that way we can get access to the jack. The jack. Jack the car up, get the car mount. A little bit more. Yep. Get the mount. Okay. And then slowly bring the car back down. Bring it back now. Yep. Just do it nice and slowly release. There we go. What we want to do is make sure your lug nuts are tight. Uh, we're gonna, we got a torque wrench here. It's set to uh, 80 uh, foot pound torque. So we'll just Make sure they're not over tightened, but they're tightened to spec. And the uh, beautiful thing about the torque wrench is that it, it clicks once you have the right amount of pressure. Oh, that's good. There you have it folks uh the video is short but all in all you're gonna spend about you know if you're going nice and easy about 45 minutes um to take care of that uh, pretty easy job you know just gotta have basic tools nothing crazy you gotta enjoy it 
Hope you guys uh, enjoy the video.